guys, we got the uh, got done with our uh, craft show I went to, so it's back to work in the shack, and I got to get this thing out of my shop to where I have some room to work. So tonight I'm going to be finishing up on the sanding, and I've got some epoxy fills that I've got to do on some of these cracks. So we're going to get suited up. Uh, this is cedar, and it. Uh, annoys my sinuses so i'm gonna wear my handy dandy little uh, dust mask for this but i'm gonna try to get this thing sanded up and get a good smooth finish on the top of it to where we can move forward with this project <laughs> Having to refill my epoxy, I have decided to change my approach on this. And like I said, guys, this is my first time using this as an actual finish and so forth. But I think I'm going to actually try to engrave through it or over it once I get this on there. I don't know if that's going to work, but we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and get this whole thing coated because I'm, I'm anxious to see what it looks like. And so far, I like what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this on there and try to go ahead and flood those cracks and all the holes. And of course, then I got to go over it a little bit more with some sanding, but that'll require it to dry for a couple of days. So it's going to kind of shut me down in here for a while because I can't be stirring up any dust with this stuff on there.
Well, guys, I'm not sure if this is going to be a success or a failure, but for the moment, it looks pretty good. Uh, like I said, this is my very first time of using epoxy in this manner. Uh, you know, I know a lot of guys do pours and stuff like that, and I wanted to pour these these little holes, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to go back over those once this dries and I can hit it with some sandpaper. But, uh, but yeah. This is what I'm trying. Like I said, whether it succeeds or fails is yet to be seen, but uh, it's on there now, so there's no turning back. So I'll keep you posted, but I'm fixing to have to lock the shop up and lock the cats out because I gotta let this thing dry and I don't wanna be in here stirring up any dust. So we're gonna lock this thing down right quick.